Hey beautiful people, what's up? Come with you with another video. I know I got some free time, so I'm trying to throw them all out today. Um, this is my top 10 MAC lipsticks. Um, it's kind of hard to narrow down to 10 because I like all my MAC lipsticks, but I was trying, trying very, very hard for you guys. Um, this is my little lipstick holder. I have about 24 of them in here, but I'm gonna pick um 10. I actually have another section in um my vanity but this is the one that have the top 10 that i use a lot um number one one of the ones that i wear all the time is snob and this is a satin finish it's like a baby it's like a baby pink maybe like a bluish undertone i'm really bad at describing stuff so bear with me because i might be describing things all wrong but for you guys this is snob and I'll swatch it for you. It does. It looks like a baby pink with a blue undertone. See that? Alright. Hopefully I got that right. Um, another one that I love is the Pink Friday. And this was, um, I guess, limited edition. Because it was only here for like um, with Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday album last year that came out. And you only had, like I think, four Fridays to get it. So, this is like a nice, vibrant pink. And that's right next to Snob. Go back so you can see that. You can definitely see the difference. Definitely more vibrant. Um, oh, another one, also in the pink group, is Saint Germain. I love this one, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say what Nicki Minaj's one? Pink Friday is a satin finish, by the way. Saint Germain is an amplified, and it looks like this. Another pink one for my pink family. I definitely love my pinks, and I'll swatch that one for you right next to Nicki Minaj. It's like although they look similar, they are different. Very very different. You have Snob, Pink Friday, and Saint Germain. Just three different types of pinks. And like I said, this is a amplified finish. Very, very creamy. Another one that I really, really love. And this is Candy Yum Yum. And this is a matte finish. This is this very vibrant, bright pink. Love it. Especially now with the summertime and the bright lips thing going on. That's right there for you. Definitely, definitely love this candy yum yum. This I forgot what collection this came out. It is, I think, it is permanent. I believe so. Yeah, because it's in the black top. It is a permanent one, but I just don't remember what the collection was that it came out with. I can't remember. I can't keep up. Every month, Mac, I mean, Mac is throwing out like one or two collections at a time. And what is that? Four? I have to count. Also for my pinks, love the Viva Glam Gaga. And this is a luster pink. I do. I really, really love my pinks. By myself, I was buying like a pink lipstick. And I'm like, what the heck? I have like so much already. But I do. And this is Gaga. This is a very, very pretty pink. Like I said, I have five pink lipsticks on my hand right now. And they all different. See? And this is why I keep getting pink lipsticks. Because they're all different. All right. Forget the pink group. One of my other favorite ones is Ruby Woo. And this is a matte finish. I love this lipstick. Oh, if I just want a nude eye and bright red lips, this is mm, this is the one to go for. And I'll do this on top for you guys to see that. This is Ruby Woo right here. It's like a red with like a bluish undertone. I don't know if you guys see that. I guess it's like a reddish blue undertone i guess i'm bad at describing lipstick so bear with me um and for my nude family i love creme de nude and this is a cream sheen i love this color you can look at this right just a nude very very nude color i love it love it love it love it had it on um yesterday i had a nice smoky blue eye and i had creme de nude on and this is creme de nude right here um, so what's that? Seven already? Wow. It's going kind of fast. Um, another one of my top 
favorites because I'm looking for. Um, oh, this came out with that collection. Oh, I don't know the name of it. But it had like that light pink one where St. Germain was also promoted in that collection. This is Playtime and this is a cream sheen. I love this color. I really, really do. It's like this really nice, you know, purple with pink undertone. It's not like too bright of a purple. That's what I like about it. I love this color. I really, really do. I find myself reaching for this color a whole lot. A whole, whole lot. I do. I love this color. Love it. I'm sniffing them up to make sure that I have the right ones. Um, also staying on my nudes. Another one that I do um, like. It came out with Mac to the Beach collection last year, which was one of my favorite summer collections. And it's Glaze Beach Bound. And I still have that beautiful seashell packing. And it's this color right here. It's like a light peach. I love this color. And then it's so moisturizing too. Like I don't know what finish this is. But it's very, very moisturizing. It's not dry at all. I love this. This is like one of my favorite for the summer. Because it's just it's perfect. It's not a lot. It's right here. It's like this really pretty peach color. It's not too much. You know. Especially it's too, when it's so hot. You don't want to put so much on. So it's not too much. So I have nine, and I have to pink one more. Hmm. I'm going to make it a good one for you guys. Okay, I guess no more pinks. And it's probably going to have to be this. Um, trying to debate which one have I used a lot more. All right, it's going to be from, hmm. I do reach for this one a lot. So this is. Spitfire, and this is from the Wonder Woman's collection, and this is a satin finish, and it's like a mauve, mauve I think, or mauve, however you pronounce it, but it's like that, it's like a pinkish purple, I love this color too, I do reach for this a lot, so, to complete my pinkish purple, now look at that, I have 10 swatches in my hand, and none of them are similar, you see that? I mean, Pink Friday and Gaga looks a little little similar, and that's the second one and this one right here, but they're just all different. Very, very different. But these are the top 10 um, of my favorite lipsticks. Hopefully, I'm going to try to remember what I said, so when I read in the description box. Um, yeah, so if you have your top 10 MAC favorite lipsticks, um, do a video post your video to this one or leave a comment and guys don't forget to rate and subscribe welcome on my new found youtube family and it's pretty much it so these are my top 10 favorite mag lipsticks all right guys till next time you